Hello there guys. I still have not half dressed and in reality have some change to have to add to my little pile that I usually put up here. We'll start again now. So we'll start again now by putting my five and twenty. Do you remember when you were a kid and you used to do tens? So hang on a minute. So we have off oh, wrong order. There we go. I haven't got a 50p, I need a 50p. So, we had units. I can't remember what these ones were, but they are the two pennies. And then we had the five pence. These were units. And then we had the 10 pence piece, the 20 pence piece, and I'm just missing a 50p and a pound coin. So I started with a tenner. So what did I get? I got. I've absolutely devoured it. So if anyone wants to know what my favourite um, bakery is, it's uh, Maple and Pecan Platt, which I have eaten both of them and eaten them and destroyed them. So that was for me. Good old toilet roll. The prices and difference of toilet roll. Did you know people have conversations with you that say that we shouldn't use toilet roll because it's very bad and we should actually wash our hands. Muslims do, by the way. Muslims wash their bums with their hands. Not a, well, not a cloth, nothing, just with water in their hands. Some people use toilet roll. Flash cleaning stuff, the cheapest. I want to blitz and clean and I needed some cleaning stuff, but I would like to go back to basics to learn good old traditional ways of using cleaning stuff that is healthy. Um, healthy to the environment obviously plastic bottles not good and the shit that's in this not good um, some spray just to freshen up for when my boys come and I'm gonna be cleaning on Sunday while Dean's taking the boys out and uh, nice little spray but again really shit for the environment really shit um, for our recycling world and everything like that and some baby wipes, obviously, for my children having poos, which, when you put these down the toilet, are absolutely fucking horrendous for the environment. And because my kids have been at Pepper Pig World today, I've decided to get some Pepper Pig yogurts. And then I've just realised they're bloody strawberry, and they probably won't eat them, but because they're Pepper Pig, they might. So that's going in there. Um, and, of course, the good old traditional milk which mother has to make sure that children have so they have their night milk and their cereal cups of coffees and all this thing but really do i need it do i really need farmers to go out there and rape cows so we can produce maternity cows so they can produce milk for humans when i breastfed them my boys if somebody had locked me in a cupboard and tugged away at my boob so i could feed all the neighbors um children i think i would be appalled and keep pregnant in me so i keep you know producing milk for the community that would be really sick and some good old my favorite smell coconut very cheap less than a pound each in fact i think these were a pound but again plastic not good for the environment so that was what i brought with my tenner i'm up i'm dressed um these absolutely ridiculous seriously Looking at, while I've been doing all of this, looking at all of the prices around the world, I'm going to come and sit out here for a second. Um, looking at all the prices around the world of fruit, vegetables, basic necessities, things like that. It is, it's absolutely mental and this way of life. So anyway, when I come back, um, the guys are just doing our bins. Um, I might go and show you just how bad it is. They record and they have recorders. So let's go. I've basically said, look, I've, I've made them record it. I've made them sort of go and pull it all out and, and record it and ask their boss to record it because we can't live like this and it's absolutely ridiculous. And everywhere you go around Portsmouth where there's a council estate, well, it's not called council estates anymore, is it? Oh, shit, have I got my keys? Yes, I have. Let me take you down here a sec. They'll be pissed now that I'm recording it because they're going to have to do something about it now. Right, so basically, 
We have bin shoots here, yeah. We have no recycling. So even though I would choose to recycle, I can't. Oh, they've got rid of loads of it already. Hang on, they've done it. I think they've done it already. Yeah, they've done it already. Shit, so it's all back to normal now. So basically a minute ago, look. Oh my look at that lot. Hey, at least it's better than it was before. Oh, yeah, but it's horrible seeing the estate like it. No. Even when they clear it up, they don't give a shit. Look, they've actually, and I'm glad I'm recording now because um, the bin people have been in here and a minute ago it was mountained up to here with black bags, right? And I've got them to take photographs of it, but this is how they've left it. I mean, they've not even re-shut the door back up. And this is all we have. I'm gonna, oh look, hang on. Let me go over to the other one. So basically, ugh, this is the bin chute. So we have to get our rubbish out of this, out of this, and into that. And it's like major old school. Um, but, hang on, I'll see if I can catch the other one. Yeah, so anyway, on the back of their t-shirts, and this is what I want, I'm going to go and see if I can grab it. Uh, no, it needs a bloody good jet yeah. spray down yeah. now, doesn't it? That's disgusting. Well, at least you've got rid of all of the crap. But if you've got the photographs, if you get the photographs over to them, they're going to have to do something, and they need to come and jet spray that down. Yeah, but, the, um, the, the couch is on the ground. But if they the understand the size of the shoots, like li the little old ladies here, yeah? I mean, look yeah. at my hands. Have you seen my hands? Yeah. Yeah? We can't risk opening oh, right. it and it going bang and flicking back at us. That's what that one got. That, that's that one. Yeah, brilliant. And that's that one. Yeah. And then the ra rats are going to come back anyway, yeah. so it needs... Um, yeah, because what my boss Richard will do, is he'll contact the council now, and one of their guys should come and clean these up. Right, cool. Alright, All right, cool. But it needs a it needs a proper solution. These little old ladies can't they can't deal with them bin shoots. They're too fast, they flick and they crack back on you. They crack back on you so fast. And most of them have got arthritis. I mean I've got a hidden condition, so I struggle with it anyway. But these old deers here, they can't they can't they can't and they do want to do their garden. I know they take away a lot of it, but we don't want rat I'm not they don't kill the rats. I'm I'm not up for them killing the rats. It's looking like a shithole, just getting rubbish everywhere. It right. looks horrible. So, but thanks for taking the photographs well, and doing something. At least we can, because they'll just ignore it otherwise. Yeah. They'll just ignore the it. Well. Cheers for that. No and do you know what? Unless you press these people, unless you put the pressure on, unless you, you know, uh, force it to happen. I was trying to get the back of his T-shirt, which is really cool, because it says that he's live recording on his, on his van. Um, Oh, is my neighbours leaving me some little gifties outside? No, rubbish. Look, 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 look. Will you do us a favour, just so we can resolve this problem? You know the house at the front there? You just take the photographs, because this is happening too often. So what happens is you now take the bins, she hasn't brought them down because she is disabled. Yeah. So they'll sit there. But you, I don't know, I was going to knock and say the bins are going now. Do you want me to grab them? But just take a photograph of it. You can see it's all rubbish. Oh. And then they know that people aren't even bringing it down. And some of them can't get out. So, right, I'm ringing and getting it sorted today then because I've had enough. Thanks for that, guys. You're absolute bloody stars. Shame you've got to do it, really. Oh, How much do you get an hour? Huh? How much do you get an hour? Is it now £10 an hour? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! I've only just gone up though. No, that's, I said I'll stop when it's £10 an hour. Um, so I'd like to see if, if you go on the United Nations website, you'll see a, see a video of a woman reading out orders that her kids are being taken and adopted. And I turned around and said, You all know the kids, this is in the United Nations, you all know the system's shit and, you, and crap and you want me to find the keys. Fucked, I said. <laughs> you all know the system's fucked and you want me to find the keys. So I'm seeing all the key workers on the back and all the live in, and it's like, Right, let's get it done. Let's it. get it done. Might as well. While the Great Reset's going on, we might as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I £10 oh, a bloody hour to clean our shit. You take care of Cheers for taking the photographs.
Ten pound of bloody hour. Oh. Now parking. Now I've got parking to deal with. And it's like, it's just, it's, it, I mean, most of the people have got arthritis. They, they can't open these bin chutes. They can't, I mean, they flick back, I'll show you. In fact, I'll go on my floor and I'll show you. So basically, you've got mostly elderly people here. And they want to recycle. They do. They want to put their jars and they want to do everything different. They want to, they want to be environmentally friendly. So if we, you take, forget me with my hands, take a little old deer who's got to open this. Yeah? So little old deer struggling with her hands or her back. She's got to get her rubbish into this space. And this flicks back. Sorry, Josie just rang me. I'm just going to have to cut off and ring her back in a sec. Little old deer, deer gets her fingers wrapped in that. Um, we've got a healthcare van, see? Uh, working in partnership with the NHS, you know, these are places, what you've got to remember is we born and we die, yeah? We make memories in the middle, but one day someone has to... So, I'm going to have to ring Josie back because she keeps ringing, but, um, you know, someone's got to look after us and you can't wipe your own ass once you get to a certain age and people are dependent on adult social care. People are, you know... Forget what we go through with children's social care. Once you get, I'm 43, yeah? And I'm going to be 50, and I'm going to be 60, I'm going to be 70, I hope, 80, I hope, 90, I hope. And I want to know that after working like a slave <laughs> for 10 pounds an hour, I do believe that all key workers are now getting 10 pounds an hour. That is fucking awesome. That is fucking awesome. That is awesome. Ten pounds an hour minimum wage. That is awesome. That is awesome. I can't believe that it's finally been achieved. Like now, it's just to tie ten percent to the kingdom, in it, and it's just to decide who is going to be that person that is the person that is governing the kingdom, I suppose. So we can all tie our ten percent to make sure our rubbish is sorted and. Our rockets and spaceships and all looked after just in case people come to war on Great Britain until we do have peace. And that, that we can maintain. It's really weird seeing people with all... There we go. Now we've got... Now they're going to come in and jet spray it down, I think. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do, really, isn't it? Just from your front door for a community. And they don't even realise. I get battered for all this shit. I'll get absolutely battered. Um, yeah, they, they don't mind. They get used to me. Do you know what I mean? But it's like, I don't want to live in a shithole. I don't. I don't want to live in a shithole. I don't want to live in a place that it's like Wild West because the rubbish is filtering out everywhere. We've got to get this right. We've got to. The landfills in this country are full. <laughs> you know, recycling is not being done. Even in this house now, when when I finish with this plastic bottle, when I finish with this spray can, when I finish with the plastics on this toilet roll, when I finish with the plastics of this, and when I finish with this plastics, and this plastics, and I don't usually use biological, but it's free bank, banks, banks, free, uh, bank, whatever it is, uh, food bank. You know, all of this is all going to go into one bag with my milk in there and my crisp, my, my cornflakes in there. You know, in most households, most children know that when you put the milk in the bin, you have to take your caps off and recycle and do that. We don't have this. This is what I was even saying when we got to where we, I was with Aaron and Faith. It was like, I've just come from a home where I have to separate like my gardening waste into my brown bin and my rubbish into another bin and we take the stuff up to the recycling and up to the glass place, which we have here. So I can actually, I, Asda's not far from me, but what I'm talking about is all the old deers here that can barely ever get out. Hello there, Claire. Um, oh, there's a name I haven't seen for ages. Hello there, Debbie. Um, and it just all goes in. and. And the thing is, unless you're doing this from great day, day one, and this is, this is to do with anything. I'm celebrating today, Claire, by the way. Guess what? The boy's been referred to the specialist. Whoop, whoop. 
I didn't get Aaron and Faith there. Liam and Daniel never made it back, but at least Elijah and Shiloh are with the specialists. And even though it's not me with the specialists, they'll have to look at mummy and maybe bring mummy in as Kelly and deal with me too um, once. But it is for the boys at the end of the day. It's not for me. It's all about money. It's all about funding. And being that my boys are still under five, they could still come back with the fact that they could say Professor Graham has retired. I did explain on my last video that literally it was all shut down in it. So, but anyway, I'm up, I'm walking around. I don't know what time my boys are coming back and I know full well that um, if I check my emails, there'll be some lovely, wonderful photographs of their day out today. They look so happy. They look so happy, they do. They look really happy. Um, and they're having so much fun, so much fun. Um, and I, today, I'm not really doing anything. I was just gonna go to sleep, um, but um, I didn't really speak to Dean last night. Uh, he came to get his art stuff. Um, I let him in through the door. Um, he tried, he's, he's really tried, bless him. Um, you know, he's offered to come out on a family day on, on Saturday. He's offered to take the boys out on Sunday. He's having the boys Sunday anyway because between the agreement that he was like, right, take them Sunday, I need them Sunday. Um, he even offered today to stay and give me a hand. And it was like, do you know what? I just need to deal with me, me today. I just need to deal with, like, not the mother who had Elijah and not the mother who had Shiloh and not all of this, but I was going to A&E prior to Aaron and Faith being taken and that still hasn't happened. So um, I'm hoping I'll get this upright scanner and it's as simple as that and just deal with whatever I'm dealing with and, 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 and have a really cool physio program and just get on with my life. Um, I've put out the two posters of um, I think I have or I will do in a minute and it will show you in 2010 when we were with Professor Bird who was the specialist it will show you all the symptoms that Faith had and then after my kids were taken and they did the lack review it will show you what they said and what I've been up against and it will show you how they took my kids and what this has all been about we're a hypermobile family you can't change it it's in our DNA doesn't make us criminals and just because I care about my community and where I am, I mean, I don't even want to fucking live here, to be brutally honest. It's fucking shit hole. But there's some beautiful places. But Great Britain has got some wonderful, beautiful places. I've been on TikTok watching Cornwall and Devon and Scotland. Like, do you know here in Great Britain, let me say this, do you know here in Great Britain, we have a pyramid? Do you know we have a pyramid in England? Like, really? Queen Victoria had it built. But can you, do you know that we have a pyramid here in the UK? Do you know that we have a mermaid lake here in the UK? Do you know that we've got some of the most beautiful, beautiful mountains? Do you know in Snowdon there is a hidden, mysterious lake? And do you know that you can just get into your little transportation? You don't need horses anymore or a cart. There's this thing called cars. And I'm glad in the UK we have to show competence and have a driving license and be responsible for our cars because accidents do happen. But you can bunger it off in a van or whatever it is that you want to do. Get on a fucking train, get on a bus. And you can go out on these beautiful, wonderful days exploring in mountains, in forests, in hills, in places that have never, ever, ever been touched by man before. Like, they haven't done all the concrete jungle building. Man and his greed of his pro pro property has not come in to these places and gone, like, look at the snails the other day. Look what man did to na nature. It killed nearly two, three hundred snails. Okay, there's more snails, but it killed them and didn't care. It takes down forestry with birds nesting, with very rare birds, with bees nests. Do people even understand the film Bee Movie? Did anybody actually get it or did they actually just think that it was a movie? Take away the bees, take away the trees. We have no honey, honey. We have no oxygen. We have no survival. Like literally, if geese, yeah, don't have mothers and fathers to lead them the way 
they then are then shot down by the Queen's men. That's what they do. They're out of trail. They are game. Yeah? I put up yesterday what murder means. I put a warning for you. It says game. Yeah? There's people in the world who have mums and dads who lead them through, and then there are people who are not, who become game. An easy target, a shot. On that note, I need to go and ring Josie. Um, so anyway, I'm about to open my curtains, open my dark little room. I'm out of my pit. I've been, well, actually I'm getting back in it because my neck hurts. I could have done anything today. It wasn't long enough to go to London, but London came to me. Um, the two girls have rang me and I've had a conversation with the two girls. I sort the bins out and that will get done now. That's it. The bins, the bin problem will be over because they'll know. They'll go, there was a woman down there who was filming us, who made us film, made us take my photographs of exactly how bad it was. They'll go, that's Kelly. So you've met Kelly today then. <laughs> so then they'll go, did she video? go yes she did they'll go oh okie dokie so it will be sprayed out so this afternoon I expect before my children arrive home my mother my mother comes and parks outside I expect when my mother the queen of my life arrives I don't want to see shit loads of rubbish out there as she drives into my estate I don't want it to stink of piss I don't want it to be absolutely minging and horrible so by the time my mother drops off my kids I hope and expect well, it's not exactly going to be great, is it? But, uh, um, oh, they're having a sort out across the way. So, yeah, I do. I, I expect it to be wonderful and lovely for my mother and my children. I might even go and do some of it to do myself and brush some of it down and do it outside myself. Um, but today I have to achieve finding some documents. Um, my car tax is due sometime in, Mar uh, in May, so... Um, I think it's after my birthday, so I've got to get all that sorted. It's about eighty, ninety pounds if I can't find this document, which is really not good. Um, all my dress stuff is still not changed over. I've still got to get everything into court because, I mean, for campaigning, I ended up with so many parking tickets, unbelievable amount of parking tickets. Like I'm talking nearly three, four hundred hundred. I'm not even talking three, four hundred pounds. I'm talking three, four hundred. And that's at like 70 to 300 pounds a shot. Um, so I do still have warrants on me for this. Um, and also my council tax is being taken out. Not my council tax, sorry. My tax credits um, from when I signed over from income support tax credits with the kids. Because I never submitted my... Um, my uh, tax books I, they've taken me for the full term so literally from the moment challenge britain started and also my student loans have now finally asked me what my employment status is so i have to let inland revenue now let know what my employment status is um some of this is good some of this is not good um obviously road people definitely key um you know uh building work but some of it doesn't even need to be done. Um, I mean, I even tried the mayor today. I'm blocked by the mayor on my new number. So I am already blocked by all officials on my new number already. They must just have a system that does it for people like me. They must be used to people like me. There's always someone like me that comes in and goes, no, no, no. Usually they shoot them. Um, but I think to make a martyr of somebody like me would be a bit silly. Um, my boys are having a wonderful day. It's been absolutely wonderful to be able to think about myself today. I have suffered with a lot of emotional pain because obviously, you know, I wanted to take Aaron and Faith to see Peppa Pig World and I never ever made it there with them. So today's quite a hard day because I would, if I had gone, I would have imagined how Aaron and Faith would have felt about it, how, um, do you know what I mean? Um, so. But anyway, it's been a long, 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 long battle. A long battle, a long battle to get my kids to the right specialists. Wow. And I've done it before they're five. Fucking check me out as a mother, mate. Check me out as a mother. I got them to the specialist by myself. Literally, the only person that I can say has done any fucking work has been the health visitor. And only in just making sure letters are there. And um, she's been the only one, mate. And 
she's had to like come out of her whole shell to deal with someone like me and really push and go hang on a minute like this mum is telling the truth and actually we are failing them as a family because they are illegally entitled and like, this word entitled isn't it it's all about this word entitlement if you're a narcissist you have to say this word entitlement and it's not it's not it's at the end of the day if my hip is popping in and out and I'm now getting to 43 they should be the ones pulling me in for an MOT like a car they should be going hey Kelly you're 43 this year darling they should have done it when I was 40 they should have done it when I was 30 they should have had all of these times and periods that they pulled me in to be going over my heart make sure my heart's okay um, Oh, my door's knocking. Who's knocking at my door? Oh! Hello, two seconds, I've got a live on. Oh. Come in, let me switch off. Two seconds. Right, yes, I'm good. Josie and James have arrived. Two's later. Hang on. It's not 